Okay. Yo, what is up guys? Eli from PB Tech here, and we've just had a quick look at the DS218 Plus. And if you haven't seen that video, you can check that out up here. But now it's time to dive a little deeper into the latest version of Disk Station Manager, DSM 6.2, which introduced a couple of cool little packages. Today, we're gonna to be looking at Synology's new add-on package called Moments. So we've all been there, right? You're with your buddies, you get everyone in for a group photo, you make a big deal out of it, everyone's standing there waiting. You go to click the button and... <sighs> this. I know this personally happened to me a lot. I unfortunately purchased a 16 gigabyte iPhone 6 Plus back in the day, which was just cruel of Apple to even make one that small. I made a mistake. So what do you do? You either delete a bunch of photos on the spot forever without properly evaluating your entire library because everyone's waiting for you, or you can clear them out by copying them all to a single file on your PC that looks like this. Jeez. I mean, you could try put them in subfolders, I guess. Rainbows in. Yeah, no, nah, we're not doing that. But oh no, it's now Sally's birthday. You wanna share a photo to a wall, you don't wanna be one of those people that just writes HB. But how are you supposed to find it? It's literally impossible. That's where Photo Moments comes in. Not only does it back up all your photos, keeping your device free, but it also has a few extra features built in, like facial recognition and machine learning. Now I know what you're thinking, you're thinking, my phone already does this. You go into your photos app, and look, there's a tab called people. Ah, oh, mine's only got one photo. Grab your phone, Harry. Thank you, sir. Oh, we won't show that, people. Here we go. Harry's has two people in it. Well, the difference is that this is a closed system. You see, normally when you take a photo, for your phone to recognize the person, it then uploads the photo to a company's cloud network to analyze the content, and then is updated in your phone to reflect the new data. Synology Moments is local, on your hard drives in your NAS that only people you choose have access to. It has deep learning embedded inside the NAS itself, allowing you to retain complete ownership and privacy, and prevents things like the infamous cloud leak that happened in 2014. So let's give it a try. I got a bunch of photos here on this PC, and all I have to do, is we open up Synology, go to the package center, tap that. Now you can see here, Moments is actually able to recognize people. It's pretty cool. It's asking who this is, right? And I don't want you guys to know my real name, so I'm just gonna write Alex. There we go. Who's this? This is Harry. You can know his name. And now if I go to the search bar, and uh, let's type in Harry. Look at that. You get all these photos of Harry's beautiful face. But not only can this program recognize people, but it can recognize objects too. So if you have a look here, look, cat. Cat. That's my cat. Is it? Yeah. His name's Leo. Look, it's even got food and drink. So there's a burger there. I was able to recognize that. Oh, and a beer. Wow. So that's quite cool because I didn't actually type anything in here. This is just did it all with its subject detection, which is pretty awesome. And it can also do locations. So we can see row to row here. This makes it much easier to store your photos and find them later on when you wanna show someone. And it's cool because half these photos were actually taken on my DSLR and it's just compiled them with my mobile library into one big massive library where I still get facial recognition and object detection even if my device doesn't support it. Now, of course, the categorization is not absolutely flawless. Sometimes you might find that if someone's wearing glasses or there's a filter on the photo, uh, the software will double up the faces. And if this happens, all you need to do is you, um, I'll show you actually, is you just start typing in a name and see, then it pops up and it'll merge these two together. Even though that's not me, it's just, you know, for an example. So initially there is a little bit of housekeeping, but because of the machine learning, uh, it gets better over time. Now, if you wanna share some holiday photos to grandma, you can make a shareable link to certain albums and you can also have individual users. So this means different people from your household can log in and you can mix your photo libraries together. Now there's also an app for iOS and Android, which I will show you. It works just like a normal photo library, right? So if you can see here, we just go to moments. And there we go, instantly got all my photos right here. I can even go to my albums, you know, 
Look at my cats again. So I can pick a photo, hit upload, delete it from my phone, and there it is sitting on my library at home. Now, if you are using Android, you also get support for super resolution, which uh, just helps a little bit with cellular data. Now, one thing is face and subject detection is only supported on selective models. And I'll leave a link in the description so you can check that out and see if your unit is compatible. The DS218 Plus is uh, a fairly new unit, so it supports both face and objects. Um, some units can only support one or the other. Um, so there we go. Awesome new little package on Synology's uh, disk station. It's called Moments. Now, if you already have a Synology unit, you can check the list of devices below. You just need to make sure you update to 6.1. Oh, and just like the rest of the packages, it's absolutely free. If you don't have a NAS yourself, but you are looking to get one, you can check out our Synology range at pbtech.co.nz. There's loads on there. Uh, we're gonna keep diving into DSM 6.2. I'm Eli from PBTech, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Yeah. <laughs>